toothpicks. I'm gonna use one to find a diamond in the only public diamond mine in the country. Last year, I came with a Minecraft pickaxe and after five days, I found nothing. So, I'm not leaving until I find one, no matter how many toothpicks I break. Broken, 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 broken. Broken, sacrificing toothpick after toothpick after toothpick, combining their fragile individual might into 80 at once, all the way to 640. Nice. Come on! The toothpick was powerless in the face of the almighty topsoil, forcing me to take things a step further. All right, these toothpicks are too brittle. How about a medium-sized one? This thing's long and thick, and it does the damage. Look at that, excavating way more soil. Look at all this. With a bona fide vampire stake in hand, I could dig soil out of the ground, but there were zero diamonds in sight. Yet, with legends of locals finding diamonds on top of the ground, I thought I might be equally as lucky, but my clock was running out. After I recently proposed to a gilf I met online, she expected a ring from me. But what's a ring without a diamond? And with our wedding rehearsal in 34 days, and nauseating credit card debt to my name, coming to this diamond mine was my last resort. All right, this toothpick isn't half bad, but my back doesn't work like it used to. I think we need some help, and I know just where to find it. I keep my strongest men in this dumpster. They've been hibernating all winter. My Giga Cult members. Giga Patrick, Giga Aiden, Giga Luke. They've been hibernating all winter just for this. And now that we're equipped with level four toothpicks, it's time to find a diamond. We need to find a plot of land and penetrate the soil. Here's the plan. First, he's gonna loosen the dirt with this toothpick, fill the bucket, and bring it to these guys. He's gonna pour dirt in the sifter, filter out the big rocks, and repeat until we find a diamond. And if anything looks like a diamond, we'll double check it with a diamond tester. When we hit a diamond, this is what it's gonna sound like. Good luck, guys. I'm gonna go on a side quest. While the cult mined for diamonds, I began to have suspicions about this mine and the entire city it was in. With an entire economy built off of the improbable dream of finding a diamond, could it be possible that there were zero diamonds here? I had to interview the locals and figure out if this entire mine was a scam. Have you found a diamond today? Uh, no. No? Excuse me. Have you guys found any diamonds? Uh, no? You guys found any diamonds? No. No? Diamond? No. No. Would it be too far-fetched for a city to lie about having diamonds to entice tourism to an otherwise dead economy? I had questions, and I stumbled upon a man named Jack who began to answer them. My name's Tyler. Hey, no, I'm What's, Jack Perrodin. How long have you been here? Um, seven years now. And have you found a diamond? Um, i found quite a few. i found 109 so far. Um, the park's found about 35,000 uh, diamonds since it's been a park in 50 years. That's not very much by any means. Sure. Do you want to see some diamonds? Yes. Jack said he found these diamonds at this park, but I'd never seen anyone find anything here in front of my own eyes until this old man appeared out of thin air. By the way. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's what you're Lord have mercy, Ed. What a discovery. That's a yellow diamond, isn't it? Now that we knew it was possible, we could not give up. Could you put it in your girl's ring? I'll put it in the collection. Day three, we got level four toothpicks. We're not leaving until we find a diamond. But in 30 degree weather, we were freezing and morale was low. I'll be honest with you guys, we're in a predicament. I can't feel my hand. The worst one here out of all of us, right? Can you stop? I mean, I don't blame the guys. They're a little beta. I I'm fine with the weather. Okay. Patrick, you find anything? No. Aiden? It's a loss today. Luke? Nothing. I could only inspire these boys for so long, and after trying to film a skit where they got hit by my car and conveniently exit this video, the cops showed up. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Ah. Oh, no, yeah. All right, we're just making a little YouTube skit. The whole idea was they just got hit by a car. We'll get out of the road, though. We apologize. All right. We'll be done here. Yeah, we're just making a goofy video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all be careful. Yeah, we'll do it. Y'all we'll we'll love to jump out in front of the wrong truck. Yeah, I know you're right. You're right. All right. We'll call it a day. Thanks, officer. All right. You guys are still alive. Anyways, the boys left to go celebrate the holidays, and I was all alone. I didn't know how I was going to propose to Yolanda without the diamond to her ring. I don't know how I'm going to find this diamond. Father, I am your son from the future. Don Calius Oliviera. 20 years in the future, you are still here, my for diamonds. You abandoned your wife and ruined your family. But eventually, you found the secret to finding the diamond. I am here to save you 20 years. You must search deep in the Arkansas forest until you find Tooth Caliber, the legendary Giga Toothpick left behind by the gods. If you can become strong enough to pull it out of the earth, you will wield the strength of 1,000 Tylers. The Giga Toothpick. Only then will you find the diamond. <laughs> Don't 
Dontavius was right. I'm too weak to pull the Giga Toothpick. How can I become strong enough? Uh, look into Copilot, the sponsor of this video. I have to go now. All right, I got Copilot. Here we are. And I learned that Copilot's a system that uses technology and professional coaching to help you reach your fitness goals. You give them some info, match with a coach that fits you. Copilot makes you a personalized fitness plan. You get to work, and Copilot helps you stay consistent with daily coach check ins and workout feedback. You can even link your Apple Watch to the app. And it keeps track of my heart rate, the wrist movements. It's crazy. Right off my watch, I started the workout. And this is Devin, my coach. Hey, Tyler, thanks for circling back with with me. I wanted to get my upper body stronger and pull out this toothpick, so Devin built me a custom plan to get there. You work the front part exclusively. You can isolate that front a little bit better, and then make sure you keep your shoulders down. Day four, I'm literally just following the workout on my phone right now. I like this app because it shows me exactly what to do with these little videos, and I just go do it. And over the next four weeks, my schedule was pretty unpredictable. Day 10, we're grinding, baby. But the workouts Copilot prepared for me were ready each day whenever it was convenient for me to actually work out. 2 a.m., 2 p.m., it didn't matter. Copilot's more affordable than an in-person trainer, but with all the accountability and guidance of one. And Copilot can help you with whatever fitness goals you have and at whatever level of fitness you're at. Just another reason why I plan on continuing to use Copilot. Thanks, Copilot, and click the link in the description to get 14 days free with your own fitness and health coach now. Let's see if I can pull this out. <laughs> I've done it! I have the Giga Toothpick! Let's find this diamond. With the newfound strength to wield the Giga Toothpick, I now knew what I had to do. That's right, I was gonna buy a diamond. Well, we got a diamond. Go into more credit card debt, rent a storage unit, fill it with dirt, hide the diamond somewhere in the dirt. Wait, rebury it? Ready! And lock myself inside with a giant toothpick and only 60 minutes to find it, proving to Yolanda that I was worthy of her hand in marriage. Let's find this diamond. Come on, baby, come on! The soil is much deeper than you think. Oh, fuck! I just tore the roof of this. That's definitely asbestos. But 30 minutes in, with a literal mountain building in the corner, this was kind of looking impossible. Explored nearly half this unit, still haven't found anything. Nothing. Nothing. My claustrophobia and PTSD from previous videos were finally starting to kick in. Ah! I'm fucking stuck. I'm basically pulling all the soil to the side. It's hot, sweaty, and disgusting in here. I'm just not seeing anything. Out of desperation, I decided to start digging on the opposite side of the storage unit with only 13 minutes left. I hate this. I want to be done. Where the fuck is this diamond? Ah! This is so fucking stupid. Bro, I'm the shit on pants. I swear to God, I'm about to poop my pants. Bro, this is code red. I'm about to take a dump in the air. Fuck. Yo! Yo! I found it! I found the diamond, baby! I found it! All of my training paid off. Let's get out of here. Oh, crap. I'm stuck in here. That's not good. I'm literally fucking stuck in here. Okay, I literally can't get out. I'm getting claustrophobic right now. I've literally caved myself in here. Come on, baby. Oh, fuck! 